people can't help. Right. And so. it's something that I also had to deal with with my own mom. So for someone to say that, I thought it was uh, it, it was just distasteful. Yeah, that's very distasteful, I feel. But I'm sure you had a good comeback. You know, sometimes you just got to ignore the haters. Sometimes you just got to ignore the haters. What would you have changed about? Would you have changed anything about this first season? Like, do you regret anything you did? Hmm, I try not to live my life with regrets, for one. Um, if there's anything that I regret doing or, or wish I could change, I don't think so. I don't think so. I really don't live my life with regrets. I really, yeah. I feel like even if it was horrible and had a horrible outcome, to me it's like if I was authentic in the moment and I made decision A, right. I'm okay with it. Right. Like there was a, re I really am one of those strange people that believes everything happens for a reason, even if you make a huge mistake. I think you just grow from it. Yeah. If you just, you figure out, okay, maybe this wasn't the time or that wasn't the time. And then you just, you, you grow from that, whatever it is that you said. But no, for, th for the most part, I don't, I don't regret anything that was, that was done. You know, I said exactly, I was myself. I was yeah. just being authentic and literally just again what Dorinda said to me be yourself and that's exactly what I was advice from Dorinda Medley I know and you why talk are, it and you talk it. why are people so shocked I like her no well listen I I loved I saw Dorinda last night I mean I I think she gives good advice she does honestly she gave me some good advice you know there is no shade here today for Miss Dorinda none Looking at the Scout in the City or Scout in the City and your Instagram, like your husband is not so prevalent on the social media platform. So is he? I imagine just I'm making up my own backstory, but here you are. Let's discuss. I imagine like he is more reserved and doesn't really buy in. You know, it's not his job like it is yours. Exactly. Like I'm, I'm an influencer. I'm a content creator. My husband is not. You know, I talk about fashion all day. My husband wears Lululemon. You know. Why love should <laughs> he loves Lululemon? You know, he love loves it. these like non sweat heat tech or whatever tops they are. Like, actually, these pants are Lululemon now that I think about it. The ABC Slim Fit. He loves that. Oh, and yeah, that wasn't great. even sponsored. We need Lululemon yeah, was, here. Lululemon <laughs> was a sponsor at, during the holidays. They, they are not at currently, but I, they, they should be. We right love now. Lululemon yes. over here. But, um, Cy, call, call Lululemon, call Sai. I'll Cy. give Lululemon yes. a call. Um, but no, he's. This is not his world, and it doesn't make sense for me to constantly show my husband's face or talk about my relationship on my platforms totally. when that's not what my platform is about. You know, I don't talk about the news. I don't talk about my relationship. Politics. I don't talk about politics. You know, that's – I'm here to chat fashion, you know, totally. and I make you laugh. We talk about a little bit of beauty and wellness every now and then and call it a day, but I just don't feel the need to – show my private life for no apparent reason you know um i think people don't understand that although social media is very much so about sharing i still curate what people see at the end of the day like i am in control of what i want you to see right you know um whereas now i'm doing a show where it's kind of like my Pandora box is completely open. Honey, let me tell you one thing. <laughs> you have no control in the edit. <laughs> I'm not sure if you realize that, but let me, I mean. I am well aware, and I think that, I think that might have been the one thing that I was probably hesitant about because I'm so used to controlling this narrative yeah. that this is for the first time in my career, I'm not able to control the narrative at all. I can only be myself and hope for the best. That is really all you can do. Yeah, it really is the exact opposite of being a content creator it is. for yourself, really. And it's like, ooh, sorry, um, yeah. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> no, we're, we're, this is not Google, honey. We're going to go with this. We're going to go with, you're like, ooh, please don't put that in there. Yeah, we're going to put that in there. So did your, I mean, that was your hesitation. Like, did your husband have hesitations just because, you know, he's not on your social media. Maybe he's more, like, did he, how, how does he, like, how did, you know, did he adjust to this process? At first he, because he is very private, you know. At first he said no. He was like, no, I'm not into this whatsoever. And then my daughter was like, oh, my God, but it might catapult my career. Mind you, she's 11. I'm like, what? career yeah. do you have does she want to be an actress <laughs> she like, wants to me. be an actress oh, well. she wants to be on broadway she's very much so into the art she modeled for a very long time but now she wants to just focus on acting um so she is so into it my son is six you know he's just whatever right goes with the flow 
Um, and then, you know, after a while we started talking about it, I started talking about the reboot. And he goes, you know what? I support whatever it is that you want to do. Wow. And so that's that's where we are. Is your daughter more excited than you to be on camera on The Real Housewives of New York? She City? is. She's very excited. I love it. I know. I was like, hey, we're airing on, you know, July 16th. She goes, am I on that episode? <laughs> Can I watch it? Are you going to have a huge premiere party? Have you done Have you done any celebrating yet? Are well, you going to? Well, we have a premiere party with our with the network and the cast coming up this week. And then um, the actual premiere day, I'm going to be upstate with my neighbors, and we're all going to watch it together. Just invite them over and watch it. Yeah, actually, they're throwing me a premiere party. Oh, well, so, that's nice of them. Yeah, it's very sweet. I thought it was great. So we're just going to live life upstate and chill. I love it. Well, I'm glad your husband said I support whatever you do and you've joined. What about, you know, like recently, I mean, just very recent, like Kyle and Mauricio, you know, from Beverly Hills announced, you know, that they are separating after 27 years of marriage. Did that cause you either to like check in with your husband and say, you know, hey, like, you know, you hear about the housewife's marriage curse. Like, is that something you guys, I mean, I'm not even saying it's a real thing, but like, you know, people I've had in the housewives world that our housewives visceral reactions to Colin Mauricio and said, like I talked to someone who said, oh, I checked in with my husband and just said, hey, are we okay? Are we on the same page? I don't subscribe to that, you know? Well, K Kyle and Mauricio have been together for 27 years. Who are we to say that that wouldn't have happened without the show? You know, people get a divorce without the show. Sometimes people come on these shows and they're already in turmoil in their relationship and then people blame it on the show. You know, so it's, I can't, I can't really make a comment on what someone is going through in their own personal relationship and then blame it on the show. I'm not going to subscribe to any of that. All I know is that I personally have been with my husband for 14 years. We're in a super solid relationship. My husband is not on any social media platform, not even Facebook. He will never check Bravo's comments. That is not his thing. He doesn't subscribe to that whatsoever. He wakes up and he goes on CNN and ESPN. Like that is his world. So for me, I think because my husband and I live in two different worlds, it really does work well for us. You know, he's not involved in my business. I'm not involved in his. Our life is our family. And then when it's time for me to go out and do my job, that's what I do. Sometimes I'm like, hey, do you wanna come with me to this event? He's like, I'd rather not. You know, he, he doesn't want to be involved in this world. That's not his thing, you know. He supports me. He's very much so going to be seen on camera. But other than that, he's not going to be fighting people on the Internet. A lot of the husbands do go there. No, he's not going to go there. I like it. I, I always say, and this, I really think I mean this. I'm not sure, but I think I do. If I if this wasn't my job, I'm not sure you would ever see. I literally think people would say what happened to him because I personally see no point at all whatsoever to being on social media if it is not somehow t directly or very closely directly tied to your job. Really, I think I would just I understand never that. see me. Yeah, that, I, I completely understand that. It's a total business tool for me, and that's really – I'm kind of like you. Like, I don't really share – you know, every now and then I'll be like, oh, here I am. and yeah. But it still kind of ties back to It ties this. into the job. Yeah. Right. It's part of the job. That, I don't really post my person. I mean, it's I don't care. Like, you can ask me a question. I'll answer. I just am like, it's not the point of this Instagram page yeah. here today. You just have having, yeah. having a private life outside of social media is very meaningful. Yeah. Like, it keeps you sane. It keeps you grounded. When there are people who put everything that happens to them, their relationship, their personal problems on social you're gonna lose your mind because you don't have any escape at the end of the day and I take it one step further I really believe you know those people that are just every post is look at like my hot husband my have like you are not uh, happy in your relationship no, you're miserable. I'm sorry you're miserable I don't know any way else to analyze that right I agree I'm not into the look at us we're so hot look at us yeah yeah, yeah. I'm not if into really that it's really a good thing in your life you're not you don't need people's approval you right? don't you don't I agree with you right 